Name something more Indiana than basketball in August. Purdue fans filled up Mackey Arena for the alumni game where we saw a lot of familiar faces back on the hardwood. Former head coach Gene Cady was also honored ahead of his Hall of Fame induction and then the current Boilermakers scrimmaged in front of fans. Gene Cady back on the sidelines helping coach the gold team. And check out these alumni balling out. Sasha Stefanovic was back like he never left, nailing threes all over the floor. Check out this one from range. Boom, automatic. Ryan Smith now taking up the ball for the black team. Some quick passing leads to a nice Chris Reed finish. Then West Lafayette's own Bubba Day drains a corner three. And later from the same exact spot, Harrison's Bobby Riddell knocks one down two. Now it's Frank Kendrick finding Lewis Jackson cutting to the basket for an easy two points. Kelsey Barlow's turn to show off on a fast break. He slams one down. And then from analyst back to player, Robbie Hummel buries a three. It was all smiles for the alumni as they were back on the court competing in the black and gold. After the game, Gene Cady and Robbie Hummel discussed why the alumni game is so special. Well, it's very exciting and I really appreciate our loyalty to each other. That's what I've always loved about Purdue, that they're all very loyal towards their sports here at Purdue and I really appreciate them coming out and watching the game. Seeing the people and talking about old times and just being around Purdue people. It's always awesome to come back here and, and see former teammates and guys that you watched when you were growing up and guys that you watch now on the team or even just a couple years ago. So uh, this is always an amazing weekend. I think it really shows how real the Purdue basketball family atmosphere is. Um, so many guys come back. It's, it's really a, a special weekend and we all, we all look forward to coming back here every, every two years. Katie also received a standing ovation from fans for being inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame. I didn't expect that. I know my mom and dad would have been proud, so it's a special thing, and I had a lot of help. I had great players, I had great assistants, great wife, and I'm just appreciative of all, all everything that was given to me. After the alumni game, the current Boilermakers scrimmaged. Ethan Morton did not play because of a hamstring injury, and Mason Gillis wore a mask while playing because of a broken nose. It was a battle between the two teams, diving for loose balls and getting scratched up. And fans were finally able to see the two new faces take the court, freshman Miles Colvin, who slams one down here, and transfer Lance Jones. Jones loved his first experience in Mackey in front of fans. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, just to fill this thing up like this on an alumni game, uh, you know, the words is indescribable for sure. Next up for the Purdue men's basketball team is their trip to Europe. Reporting from Mackey Arena, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18.